<laughs> no. I'm real dumb, man. I have no idea. Hello again. I don't know, man. But I've been saying what's going on is since it's water cooled, it doesn't have CPU fans tripping out. As in, it's trying to search for one because it might be enabled or something. He's checking the manual. But manuals can be outdated, which sucks. Tell BIOS that it's not true. Gotcha. Angel, you gonna be hunting this one alone? I mean, there's a manual thing here. Glad I'm streaming and doing tech support. This is the greatest idea. Maybe. Um, so, it's showing on my fan, right? Yeah. And on the bottom, there's a pump fan, right? A pump fan? And, and when I click on pump fan, the only option I see is fan off, and that's unchecked. As in saying that fan off is true? On the all right, here's from Ivan. On the manual, it shows a profile that says pump fan. I don't know if that's showing up for him. Tell him okay. to set it to that. And then I gotta check that. Set the profile to pump okay. fan. I guess. I I guess. This is the most weirdest thing. Is that I got the guys trying to fix it, and then you got me in the middle, and then you with the problem. It's weird. Now TMAD saying turning off pump will start a fire. Everybody's okay. right here. Everybody knows the answer. Everybody knows the answer. Right, so what is the answer? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> you need to set your fan to pump fan, I guess. Which I don't know what's that's turning off. Don't know. Not there in person. Couldn't tell you. I guess so. You have it set to pump fan? Hello? Hello. Hey. Do you have the profile set to pump fan? Because that's what you're using. Um, is there a have a profile for this stuff? I don't know. What are the profile selections again? You said it was like standard, silent. Um, I don't think those were profiles. Whatever they were. Yeah, they were profiles. Um, standard, silent, turbo, full speed, and main. So the is it standard, <laughs> full speed, silent, or manual? Standard, silent, turbo, full speed, and manual. Turbo. What is the difference between full speed and turbo?
Anything happen when you set it to manual? Does it give you any more choices after that? Just curious. Don't save anything when you do it. And there goes the call. Hello? Man, you're the middle man, the call's dropping, and you're being as bad. Uh, dude, you must be having the best day right now. Yeah, it even says in the manual there's an easy tuning wizard. If you follow that, give them the option to choose water cooler. Okay, so I'm gonna go the easy tuning wizard. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Okay. Get back here. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for running. You tried. Seventy five meters distance. All right. None. I'm going to the easy tuning wizard I can do OC or RAID. Mm. Not RAID. I'm pretty sure I tell how to do RAID, right? I don't know. He definitely doesn't want to. Scott says don't do RAID. Alright. Uh, Ivan says OC. Another option. There's overclocking. Yep, Ivan says OC. Overclock. Alright. Join lead in mock trying to be an Indian versus the two cents that I had this issue before. Not sure if you've tried this or even if it's a solution in Cry specifically. Why did you do this? But some CPU fan speed to ignore worked for me. This is when he gives you the options for daily com computing and gaming slash media. It says he can try daily computing. Oh, I kind of put it on gaming and media. You fool. Did that fuck me up? I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. I was just being honest. I don't know. I wouldn't ever lie to it. My computer. Oh, dude, no, it's the same fucking error? Are you kidding me? Dude. Same error. Okay, alright, well, I want to read the exact error that I have. Never asked for this. Sure. Okay. <laughs> CPU fan speed error detected. That's all it says. And sure to install the properly That's just gone. Onto the CPU underscore fan header. No. Or adjust slash disable. I think you can get the air from that. Justice rain from above. No. I think you can get the rest of the error from that. 
really only a small portion of it to find the full error. And call drop. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I don't know who to be. I'll be a hunter. My phone's fed up with my bullshit. It's not answering the phone call anymore. Is it him that's dropping calls? Huh? Is he dropping calls? Uh, I don't know. My bars are somewhat stable. Not gonna ever go into zero. Look at this wiggly pizza pie. Thank you. Look at it. Why is it wiggling? I it's don't know. Wiggling. I nope. <laughs> Makes it extra tasty when it has that little dance. Yo. Hello, man. Yo. Oh, if I sent Ivan Cry's phone number, there'd be no way Cry would be on the stream then. Have you removed anything from the PC recently? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Hello. Hey. What are bars? What about bears? Bars. What are bears? bears? Are you drunk? No. You don't drink. That's right. What? What? I've been saying that there's got to be a setting somewhere in BIOS to ignore the fan. Probably in that same place where we saw the Q fan or whatever it was called. Yeah, gotcha. You're so good at this. On that. You find the best spots. There's 76,000 or 100 people in here. What are you doing with your life? 76,000, damn. 76,000 would be in 7,600, yeah. The main ones he should needs to look for is fan Q or CPU Q fan control and CPU fan speed limit low limit.
Tell me about it. I got another confession to make. I'm your fool. Everyone's got their chains to break. Holy Not seeing anything. Nothing about a CPU fan. Nope. Holy the shit. Oh, no. Did you hook me? I hooked you. <laughs> You're going nowhere. <laughs> or I don't have a chicken anymore. Holy shit, Angel. <laughs> What's wrong? Under. When I click that, it says, click OK to detect the lowest speed and configure the minimum duty circle for each fan. It may take two to five minutes. Do not shut down or restart your system during this time. Do I want to try that? Right now. That's something. Under QCPU, you said? Uh, Q fan control. Probably got a probably got a fake motherboard. CPU Q fan should be enabled. He can try that. Wait, so I want to do the optimize all? I don't know. For I got another person trying to tell me how to fix this problem too. See, this is why I don't need to do this, because we have so many people who know computer stuff. Yeah. Why do I need to learn it? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Go to, this person says go to the monitoring tab and give a Q-fan control. Oh, okay. That's and a then, there. And then it's all, all right, the same the steps from there. I've read like eight times tonight. <laughs> Who's stream sniping me? Quit that. Alright, CPU fan speed. Do I just hit ignore? Yes. Well, you should set the Q-fan to enabled. Or whatever, key CPU fan. Hit the enabled. Then hit ignore on the. Q fan control. Enable the Q key, the CPU fan header. Should be enabled. Does it have more options under it? All that is on Q fan control is always just been the optimized all button and then a standard silent turbo shit. That's check. all there's ever been there. You already checked under the However, monitoring tab? On, on monitor, I am finding CPU fan speed, and it was set to NA. But it could just set it to ignore. Alright, then F10 and restart. Just press F10? Uh, yeah, that's what this person does. Yeah, set that to F10. ignore. Pizza. It's like cold pizza, but better. Yeah. It's got extra protein. It's still wiggling.
Well, that's new. What's new? Uh, I restarted it and immediately just went back into BIOS. I didn't press anything. Okay. Hit save and apply and then restart it. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Alright. Try it again, see if it goes to BIOS or not. What did it do? Uh, it's restarting. Don't go to BIOS. Don't go to BIOS. Don't do it. Don't do it, computer. Come on. Don't, it's flickering my screen a lot. Oh. It's a lot of flickering. Nothing's really happening yet, though. Huh? I went to BIOS again. It just sure goes to BIOS now. Okay. Make sure he's actually trying to launch from his the drive where his operating system is. Maybe his order got screwed up somehow. I don't know. Should we just what? Would you say, Scott? Uh, just make sure that he's actually somehow didn't undo like where he's uh you know like the load order for his drives. Make okay. sure he's not like loading something else. Can you look at your boot order and see if it's set to the SSD and not BIOS? What's different for every BIOS? Mine is just like right there on the first screen, so I don't know. Ah, uh, same. Um, you have something called boot menu? Uh, there is a tab for boot, yeah. Go to boot menu. Yeah, I'm on there. What does it say? Uh, like fast boot, SATA support, USB support, network stack. Redirection, next boot after PC loss, power loss, I'm sorry. Boot logo to study, oh, I can change the, the resolution of the logo, cool. Uh, post delay time, direct key, boot up, numlock state, boot for F1 error, option ROM messages, IND19 trap response, over 4G decoding setup mode, uh, secure boot. CSM, uh, boot option number one. Oh, here we go. Set the system boot order. Okay. Alright, well, I'm not sure what this means. But, it's set currently to Toshiba DT01ACA200. I don't know what that is. It's 9 megabytes. You know what kind of. Hello? You know what kind of hard drive you have? Oh wait, I know what kind of hard drive you have. Wait, you can check that too. Mm, I can't. Oh, you got him. <gasps> Whoa! You have a Samsung Pro. One terabyte. Main needs to be SSD M2. Also, make sure secure boot is enabled. Um, secure boot state is enabled, yes. Okay, the main needs to be SSD M2. Um, Alright, so there's my problem. So, for boot options number one. Uh huh. I only see Toshiba DT01, whatever the fuck, and then HLDTST, or disabled. I don't see your Toshiba. Yeah, it's storage. That's your storage set too, apparently. Samsung's. Oh, that's your RAM. Never mind. I'm an idiot.
Yeah, your your SSD is your Toshiba. Mm. Okay. I pretty pretty sure at least. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh god, I just pressed the button. Oh good. Oh god, what have I done? What have oh god. Been? I don't know, did you? That's really weird. No. Um, it might be okay now. Maybe. Is it booting? I, I, I oh. scrolled down and I, there was a thing called boot override. Oh. Huh. And I saw Samsung and I'm like, hey, I wonder what this will do. And I clicked it and it immediately just started up my computer and now I'm loading it to Windows. That's a good sign. I mean, that's a good sign, but... What are the what consequences of booting Windows? Yeah, what are the consequences of my actions that just befell me there? I don't know, you may have just told your computer to please turn on. Out. I guess so. <laughs> That's so fucking weird though, man. It's really weird. Well, I mean... Fuck. Alright. You have internet connection? That's a good question. Do I have an internet connection? I'm gonna answer that question for you right now, Russ Money. Oh, thank you, cryotic the monkey. For that question is yes. Wow. Get on TeamSpeak, please. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. That was the longest I've ever talked to Cry on phone. I hope it'll be <laughs> the longest they'll ever be. <laughs> phone suck. Ivan, I'm the only get on TeamSpeak, please. Please. User joined your and you all said it was easy. Well, it should have been. It is easy. <laughs> that was an hour. <laughs> that was an hour. Now let's see if it actually fixes things. And the only way I even got it to work was I randomly pressed the fucking God damn yeah. it. Welcome to computers, my dude. Fucking computers, man. Dude, Russ, you, you must be so stressed out from that shit. I'm sorry, dude. I hate you. I know. I, I would hate me, too. That, that, that must be so annoying, man. There you go. I there's like, there's Ivan right there. You can talk hey, to him directly now. <laughs> what, what did you do? I randomly clicked on the Samsung SSD one terabyte thing. Yeah, that makes it launch from that drive, which is where your yeah. operating system is. Oh, and <laughs> lo and behold, wallpaper engine just crashed. So none of that fixed any of my problems. That's why I GG. said why is there now because you're not going to fix it. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. This is a good try. This is a good try. Uh, yeah. It's it definitely what's going on is something is overclocked on there, so maybe the GPU is well, that'll be next step. But if you, uh, if you do it now, of course, it's gonna take like forever. Another hour, <laughs> God. yeah. Because uh, a couple things, if it was your RAM, it wouldn't boast like you would have issues constantly, it would constantly blue screen with it. So, gotcha. what's going on is. Your GPU, I'm gonna get really technical right here. Okay? Oh boy, oh uh, boy. Architecture, what's happening is whenever it's loading certain frames, it's actually crashing. So if your GPU is, is you know, doing a little bit more than it should, it's definitely crashing it. Um, that's where you're getting issues with that. So I believe you do have a Titan, which is mainly meant for rendering, which is, I don't know why the hell they would like give you like the titan x instead of like a 1080 ti which would make more sense for gaming i have a i have a 1080 ti do you have it in there yeah that's what i'm using what? in there yeah the specs Look. are lying are they they shouldn't be lying no come back are you looking at the wrong loud. specs let me see here I was originally gonna get two Titan X's, but I said nay. I 